The Earth in the Universe The Sun is giant if we compare it to the Earth. It takes 109 Earths side by side to have the same diameter of the Sun. The Sun is a giant ball of combustion gases that provides heat and light to the solar system. The Sun is of fundamental importance for the maintenance of terrestrial life by providing light, heat, energy. Besides being responsible for evaporation and various biological processes in plants and animals, Besides being responsible for evaporation and various biological processes in plants and animals, the sunlight takes an average of 8 minutes to reach the Earth. The sun provides warmth and light to our planet. It is celebrated on May 3rd the sun day. The sunlight takes an average of 8 minutes to reach the Earth. The sun provides warmth and light to our planet. It is celebrated on May 3rd the sun day. The sunlight takes an average of 8 minutes to reach the Earth. The Earth in the Universe The atmosphere is fundamental to the maintenance of life on Earth because it is a source of oxygen, essential gas for life. Earth's atmosphere protects our planet filtering the ultraviolet rays, and protecting against the impact of meteors. There are many layers, they are known as layers of the atmosphere, each has a name and a function. Let's see what each one does. The first layer is the troposphere, in it is found the air that all living beings use to breathe. It is also here that rains and lightning strikes. The airplanes also fly in this layer. The second layer is the stratosphere. It harbors the ozone layer, which protects us from ultraviolet radiation. Military jets pass through this layer. Then we have the mesosphere. It is the layer where the meteors pass and fragment. The fourth layer is the thermosphere. It is in the thermosphere that orbit space shuttles and some artificial satellites. The last layer is the exosphere. In this layer there is no gravity and constitutes the transition to outer space. Troposphere Thermosphere Stratosphere Mesosphere Exosphere Troposphere Exosphere In this layer there is no gravity and constitutes the transition to outer space. The Earth in the Universe Our solar system comprises all the bodies that move around the Sun, both the planets and the Earth, as well as small bodies such as meteors, asteroids, and moons. There are eight planets in our solar system and millions of other small bodies. The Earth is one of eight planets orbiting the Sun, along with Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The year on Earth has about 365 days, that's the time it takes to take a lap around the Sun. Neptune is the eighth planet of the solar system, the last one from the Sun. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun and is the third largest in the solar system. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun, and the second largest of the solar system behind Jupiter. Jupiter is the largest planet in the solar system. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun, the second smallest of the solar system. The Earth is blue because two-thirds of its surface is covered with water. Venus is the second closest planet to the Sun and is almost the same size as the Earth. Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system, and also the one closest to the Sun.
The year on Earth has about 365 days, that's the time it takes to take a lap around the Sun. The Earth in the Universe The Earth revolves around the axis itself. This movement is done counterclockwise, from west to east, and lasts approximately 24 hours, so we have the day and the night. So while you get out for breakfast, people on the other side of the world are preparing to sleep. This side is on its back to the sun, so it's called night. This side is facing the sun, so it's called the day. The moon is the only natural satellite on Earth. The sun provides warmth and light to our planet. This side is facing the sun, so it's called the day. The Earth in the Universe From the Earth we can see thousands of stars at night, but they are a small fraction of the total number of stars in the universe. Stars are gigantic balls of gas in combustion. Some are smaller and some are larger than the Sun. Each star is the center of another solar system. The night sky is full of stars. The nearest star is 25 trillion miles away. Each star is the center of another solar system. The night sky is full of stars. The nearest star is 25 trillion miles away. Some are smaller and some are larger than the Sun. The Earth in the Universe Our planet has only one moon. The moon moves around the Earth, taking a month to complete an entire orbit. Our moon is marked by hundreds of craters and rocky plains. As the moon moves around the Earth during the month, it presents four different aspects, which are the phases of the moon. New moon, it is marked by low luminosity, because its face facing the Earth is not being illuminated by the sun. Waning crescent, considered the transition phase of the new moon to the full moon, the waning crescent is characterized by receiving luminosity on only one face. Full moon, regarded by many as the most beautiful stage, the full moon takes place when the sun fully illuminates the part of the moon facing the earth. Wax and crescent, this phase is marked by the loss of luminosity, in which we observe only one illuminated face, which forms a letter C on the contrary. Waning Crescent New Moon Full Moon Wax and Crescent Wax and Crescent This phase is marked by the loss of luminosity, in which we observe only one illuminated face, which forms a letter C on the contrary. The Earth in the Universe The Sun is giant if we compare it to the Earth. It takes 109 Earths side by side to have the same diameter of the Sun. The Sun is a giant ball of combustion gases that provides heat and light to the solar system. The Sun is of fundamental importance for the maintenance of terrestrial life by providing light, heat, energy. Besides being responsible for evaporation and various biological processes in plants and animals. The Earth in the Universe 